Hey guys, welcome back to Music with Mr. T. Today I'm going to do a little bit of tech highlighting, talking about some free virtual instruments that you can have access to for your classrooms if you are going to be pushing in to the general education classrooms. Um, I am currently on a MacBook and I've shown you before the things in Google Music Lab or Chrome Music Lab rather and I will go back through those again but I'm also going to show you some things that are web based as well as another one that I just pulled up on my iPad. So let's get started. Alright, first I am in musicplayonline.com. You can just Google it and you pull up this page here. It'll tell you you're logged in as a student. You close that little pop-up box and then you'll go right over to the web page and here you can click xylophone. Your xylophone pops up and it's right there. So you can click on these with your mouse or if you're connected to a Promethean or smart board, you can just touch them right there and you have that xylophone right in your classroom. They also offer a metallophone at Music Play Online. And you can even turn off keys or turn off bars, or they're just like if you were taking bars off to do a pentatonic song. So I've turned off F. I'm clicking it. It's not coming up. There's also a virtual piano. And those are the three that are accessible to you in Music Play Online. This next one is involved is from xylo.playsprout.industries. And you can also click the keys. But in this one, you can also use your numbers on your keypad. And you can play two notes at a time. Great for Bordeaux. And there's one more, another one, virtualmusicinstruments.nscr.info. I'll put all these links in the description below. And you can also, this one you just hover over with your mouse. And you can also hover, 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 hover. So with this one, it's going to be beneficial that you have a mouse with you, like a, an actual physical mouse because these are hover over keys. Now, I'm not sure what technology you have in your classrooms, whether it be iPads, full computer laptops, or um, Chromebooks, but a lot of this should be accessible for you on those platforms as well. I have my iPad here, and I'm on Music Play Online, and I've got that same virtual xylophone up. There's a bit of a delay with this on the iPad, so I'm not sure if that's just because it's not a full computer or what, but you can access it if you're looking to give yourself that pitch on an iPad. And one other thing I wanted to highlight is the shared piano in Chrome Music Lab, and I'll put that link here below. Um, what I've already done is open my room, and it gives you a code. You copy the link and email it out to your kids or send it out. However you, however you convey messages, and basically what you do is once everybody's connected, you can do something like this. So right now I have my computer, and it is keyed for the key of C major, C scale, and you use your keyboard for A, S, D, F, G, H, J, K, L, semicolon, all that stuff. So I've typed all that, I've played it, and you heard it playing. And actually, if you take a look here, 
I'm going to include an extra clip right up here while I'm doing that again, and I'll show you what's happening on both screens. So you see my computer here on the right and my iPad on the left. So everything I'm doing on my computer is coming across to you on your other devices. And the same thing if I go to my iPad. It's happening there. You can also change your sounds. Get a marimba and it'll show that it's loading quite slowly, but it's loading. And now that it's loaded, and now I'm going to try and play on my iPad and my computer at the same time. I also have a keyboard connected to my iPad as well. So that right now is my iPad playing. So the piano part was played on my iPad and the marimba part was played on the computer. So these are just a couple of things that you can use in your classroom if you are pushing into rooms and don't have the ability to take your larger instruments with you. Thanks so much for coming. Thanks so much for watching our quick tech demo. And if you have any questions, always feel free to drop me an email or put it in the comments below and we will respond to you and get you helped as soon as possible. Thanks for coming. Have a great day.